Gemini, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Gemini, trust that there's a message here for you, whether you are a regular viewer or maybe this popped up in your feed and you felt the call to click on it. There could be uh, a nugget of truth, pearl of wisdom here for you. Maybe the whole reading will resonate. We will find out. So, I like to uh, start with a couple of oracle cards, Gemini, and I will then work with the full tarot deck. So, I've pulled your card from this oracle deck. The answers you need are coming, Gemini. So maybe you're trying to find clarity around something, um, the way to move forward, you know, your next steps. Maybe you're waiting for an answer, you're waiting to hear back, maybe how someone's feeling about you, maybe from some kind of application or opportunity. Um, with the full moon energy coming through, it feels like it brings, you know, completion, conclusion, you know, I know where I stand. So let's keep going. Oracle of the angels oh believe okay your ships are coming in so it feels like the answer that you're waiting for is uh, something that is a uh, maybe a possibility here that you have wanted something you've wanted to create or manifest and you know the the belief card really feels like something's arriving something is landing Make sure that you stay in the energy of unshakable belief. Um, I, I'm a, I am a huge believer that we need to believe first before the universe kind of joins us in our quest, right? So believe and receive. Let's keep going. Major Arcana incoming and then I will move to the full tarot deck. Oof, High Priestess, yes. So she is always a all-will-be-revealed energy. I mean, she sits at the gateway, the threshold, and behind her is this kind of new world of possibility that you can enter into. So I feel like you're really, really close, and you're at some kind of threshold or gateway, and you're really just waiting for that gatekeeper, whoever that may be. It could be, a you know, um, an authority or a real estate agent or a person or a bank manager or whoever that may be to give you the green light to to move ahead and it feels like it opens up a new pathway um for you so let's keep going now uh, also of course the high priestess is a deeply intuitive energy so you might be getting your own insights and you know intuitions and gut feelings around this and um yeah you can trust that full tarot deck seven of pentacles so this is, um, you're very invested, I think, in what you're trying to uh, make happen here. There may have been setbacks. I mean, the High Priestess can talk about a, you know, journey of light and shade. Um, it might be time to, to take stock as well uh, as to where you're at with this situation, what's working, what isn't working. The Seven of Pentacles can be reevaluate your, you know, your approach, reevaluate your, your process because I think that you are getting close, but yeah, Five of Swords might indicate there's a bit of conflicting energy, or for some of you, what you are actually trying to manifest here, it could be in a really competitive environment. I'm sort of feeling more that. Um, I mean, applying for homes right now in Australia is extremely competitive. In fact, in the state of Queensland, apparently there's 100 applications on every house. Um, so is the career, uh, you know, work career uh, environment. I mean, I do readings for people all over the world and I'm hearing from everyone that it's highly competitive. So competitive market, you're invested. You might need to reevaluate your, your approach a little bit, be a little bit more forward here. The answers you need are coming, believe and receive. So I think that you are about to land something, but... <clears throat> There might be something that you can do. Yeah, Six of Swords. We're going from the five to the six. So that's you getting out of that kind of conflict cycle where you feel like you're spinning your wheels and nothing's happening or you might have been getting, you know, setbacks or, no, you know, the answer no. But I see you in transition. <clears throat> I also want to say that normally in the Six of Swords it's represented by two people, you know, setting sail in a boat and we see the boat... Uh, icon here and that's a, it's a real symbol for movement um, being in a state of flux state of limbo uh, relocating in some way so some of you might be relocating home or even you know geographically states countries but others of you I am feeling that sort of work career vibe where 
you know, you're in, in between roles or in between jobs or you, you know, you want to take that level up and it feels like there is movement and you're about to step across the threshold. So it's definitely not a giving up energy. It's a keep going. Mm, King of Pentacles. I think sooner rather than later. And I say that because I've pulled the Taurus card, King of Pentacles, and we're right on the tail end of Taurus season. Could be even in the, within the next week that something shifts here. The King of Pentacles is usually that, you know, it's the physical realization, it's the contract, it's the commitment, um, and, it, and it's the authority saying yes to you. Right? So I just feel that, you know, this is coming and it's sooner than what you think, and um, it's showing up in reality. King of Pentacles, new commitment, new contract, answers you need are coming. Oh, and I pray that. Okay, I will make that the last card, and, and the reason why is because um, we've got the bookends here of the High Priestess, and sometimes Spirit wants us to know a bit about this, but not delve too much further, you know, because there's a certain amount of life lesson um, and the journey that is being sort of navigated here rather than knowing too much about the destination, but I am being told here that you're very close to landing what you want here. Um, all will be revealed in that perfect timing, but there's a new commitment or contract for you. You're in the limbo phase right now, but that is coming to completion. So that's really, really exciting. Um, I think you're going to hear back. The answer is coming. So I believe, and yeah, it feels like you will be very soon receiving. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this message. Um, if you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, the first link down below will pop you over to my website. You can check those out. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide linked below if you'd like to get started reading the cards. You'll also find my TikTok and Instagram accounts linked below where I'm really active and interactive. And what else? Oh, I have uh, an immersive online tarot course, The Initiation. I teach a full foundation in tarot and my professional signature reading process there as well. I am wishing you all the best. I'm sending love and magic. Bye for now.